guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Lely. This is Lely's Lifestyle and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're doing a little bit of a different video. I had planned to skip Mental Health Monday today. Just my husband is home and I had a tough therapy session on Saturday. So, and normally I would film on Saturday afternoon and then edit on Sunday. But so today I'm filming this on Monday and um, I might get it posted today and might post it Tuesday. So whenever you see this, you'll know. So yeah, I just had those tough couple days. So I decided I was just gonna take Mental Health Monday off this week and then get back to you guys Friday for our motherhood and mental health video. But I got this in the mail and I wanted to share my little Sephora haul with you guys and maybe do like a little try on haul, a little bit of a chit chat, a little bit of a chit chat Sephora haul kind of thing. I'm just feeling really chill today, but I really just wanted to film for you guys and I thought my little Sephora haul um, could be a good video. I got a couple of skincare items in here and some makeup. I actually like needed some stuff. I've so, I'm sort of out of my phase of just buying and buying and buying for, you know, no reason. Like I feel like 2017, 2016, 2017 was sort of that time where like the YouTube makeup was booming and I felt like I needed to buy everything all the time. I felt like I needed like, you know, the latest trend in skincare and makeup and, but especially makeup. But now I'm just, I'm just buying what I need as I need it. Also, I just want to let you guys know. Okay, so these are my two rings. This my this one here, my friend Cosma got it for me in Poland. He's from Poland and he brought this back for me once on a trip. And this ring, my dad gave it to my mom when they were young. And these are just the two rings that I wear like all the time. I lost these in August and I, I literally came to terms yesterday with the fact that they were gone and that I wasn't gonna find them again. I was just like, you know what? Like I need to stop beating myself up. Cause you know, you when you, like losing rings or jewelry or like anything that, you know, means something to you, it's just like, it fucking sucks. And you kind of just want to never stop looking. So at least yesterday I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just really let it go. And like, I, you know, I've come, I've allowed myself to come to terms with the fact that I'm not gonna get those back and that they're gone forever. And then this morning, my son was heading off to school and my husband opens the front of his backpack and my rings are in there. They've been in there since August because we went to stay with my grandma and I put them in there. I remember saying to myself, like this is a safe space for my rings and I put them in there. Anyways, didn't look in there obviously. I don't know, like, you know, why would I, I didn't think they'd be in there. I wasn't gonna look in my son's backpack. But long story short, I found them today and I was, long story short, like I didn't just tell you the whole story. Um, but I, I'm i so happy that I found them, you guys. Like, And it's so funny that yesterday I had just come to terms with the fact that I wasn't gonna get them back and then I get them back today. The universe was like, no, 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 sneaky, sneaky. Um, yeah, I, 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 the universe knew I needed to come to terms with the fact that, you know, to let something go, allow something to be let go in order to get it back. You know, I like to think things like that sometimes. Okay, so let's get started. Let's check out what's in here. I do have my mirror in front of me because, and my brushes and stuff, because I thought maybe I'd wanna, um, you know, play around with this a little bit. Okay, so I'll start, I'm gonna start with the skincare. I don't know about you guys, but I, like I've gotten so much more into skincare. Probably, mm, I don't know, maybe like since I started watching more skincare YouTube. So probably like, like three or four years and I love just trying new things and I've kind of learned now what my skin likes and what my skin doesn't like, what my skin can handle. I love skincare. So just doing my makeup videos with you guys and stuff, I wanted to get a good makeup remover that isn't makeup wipes or um, like micellar water or anything like tugging at, at my skin and I love a balm. My favorite balm that I had ever tried was from NYX and that was a few years ago. I don't think they sell it anymore. Um, and I'm not like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it because I feel like you don't have to. Like the Clinique take the day off balm, 
you know, I've heard really good things about that one, but I feel like you don't have to spend that money on a bomb, especially when you just like you mix it with like mix your makeup with oil and it comes right off. So I got this one, Sephora Chlorella Melting Cleansing Balm. And oh, okay, is it gonna focus? I'm just doing that old school YouTube hand behind. Yeah, so you just like apply it and mix it with water. I'm gonna open it and see. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a, get it all off the paper. Oh, it's like a nice, like jelly looking. Oh, it feels nice. Yeah, it feels nice. I'm excited to try this. Like, I feel like on stuff like this, that's on your face for two seconds, like, you know, you don't need, um, like, I wasn't too worried about the ingredients. It's literally on my face for two seconds, so, um, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Rub it on, take it off. It's not like a moisturizer that I'm, you know, keeping on all night or anything. So I'm not super worried about the ingredients. So that is the first piece of skincare that I got. My second piece of skincare, the Inky List Glycolic, Glycolic Acid Toner. So I heard about the Inky List from Hiram here on YouTube and he recommends the Inky List. It's cheap, like it's like the ordinary cheap. How much was this? Oh, it doesn't say on my paper. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't say on my paper, but I'm pretty sure that this was like $14. So usually I use um, for, I love using acids instead of, so an acid is a, a um, chemical exfoliation instead of a physical. And so a physical would be like a scrub and a chemical is an acid that exfoliates using the acid <laughs> um so it turns over the cells and eats away dead skin cells so normally i would use sunday riley good jeans um i just ran out of my good jeans and normally it's like i would order that again i've been using like i've been using that for probably three years like i've gone through bottle after bottle of that but it is 120 dollars. so i thought i would try something a little bit cheaper this time and you know Oftentimes there is a cheaper option that works just as good, so. Okay, so formulated for all skin types, best for blemish prone, oily skin, helps to reduce pore appearance. Okay, so I haven't had blemish prone or oily skin. Where is my, use in the PM. Yeah, so with something, so here it is looks like this my light my window is kind of shining on it there it probably smells like vinegar is my guess oh that smells good actually that's weird oh yeah it's sort of like an acetone e yeah like it this smells acidic it, they definitely haven't added any any um like scent into it so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna be using this for a while and hopefully it um, you know makes a difference this is a pretty small bottle for a toner 3.4 fluid ounces but yeah so I'm gonna be using this in place of my $120 bottle but that $120 bottle that lasts me eight to ten months so you know like it's kind of give and take with money, et cetera. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm going to try this toner and hopefully, and what I like about this is I can put it on and then put moisturizer on top with my Sunny Riley Good Jeans. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just like put it on and then go to bed like that. So I wasn't, I was either putting on like a moisture mask at night or the Good Jeans to do my chemical exfoliation. And then you don't have to do that. I just like, that's what I felt worked best for me. So yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, sorry, I just had to cut for a minute. Um, my son came in the house crying. He smacked his nose and his hands running up the stairs. My husband was outside with him, but he wanted mama. Anyways, so my next item, um, keeping in with skin. So yeah, I watched so many YouTube videos about what um, sheer foundation or tinted moisturizer I should get. And 
This is the one I decided on, the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. So I'm gonna check, so I got 25 and light, medium, neutral. Who knows, I never know what freaking set color to order. Oh God, this looks pretty dark actually. Here it is here. Um, yeah, so I heard this like basically has no coverage, um, which, you know, is kind of what I want. I'll do like when I do my Friday video where I do my makeup and motherhood, then I will, okay, so there's what it looks like. It is dark, day. I'm gonna say that is not my color, but I think that it's like sheer enough. I'm just like kind of rubbing it in that I'll be able to like sheer it down. Hmm, I don't know, I'm... looks really orange. I might actually end up returning this. It looks so orange, but on my hand, I don't know. No, that's like really orange. Well, maybe I'll keep it for summer, for like a summer shade. Oh well, but I still need to actually try it on my face. So on my Friday video, I'm gonna actually be trying it on my face. So we'll see. Yeah, that's like really, it's really just like pulling orange a lot on my skin, which usually if something's too dark, it um, looks orange. 25 in light, medium, neutral. Light, medium. Oh no, I guess I'm like, I'm, I'm whiter than I think I am. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm like darker and then I buy like a dark foundation. I'm just like, girl, you're white. Like you are very pale. All right, let's move on to some fun stuff. Okay, so I got this. Morphe Glamma Bronze Bronzer. And I've the only like thing I bought from Morphe before is the continuous setting spray, which I got a new bottle of since my son sprayed all my other brand new bottle in his hair. It's almost empty. I'll just show you this stuff before. I just I buy this stuff all the time. I never let myself run out. It has the best, like the mister on this is like the mist, it's just un, unmatched for like how beautiful the mist is. It doesn't just like, like I've used some that just like spray right in your face. They're so bad. This Mr. Beautiful, this is like my holy grail. And I'm not like, I feel like it does keep my makeup on. I don't wear much or wear it enough to like fully experiment, you know, like I'm not wearing like a full face foundation all day or worried about that, but what this does, like if you're looking powdery or makeup -y, it just like sinks in and makes your skin look like skin again. Because for me, like sometimes I'll put makeup on and then I'll just be like, ugh, like I don't feel like myself anymore. Like I feel like I just like look like a different person now. And even like I filmed, I filmed Friday videos for you guys before and like I'll finish my makeup and I'm just like, ugh, like I just want to take this off now because I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like I like don't look like myself, like my face like can't carry it. But this, rambling on my lord, but this um, just really melts everything and makes it look like skin again, which yeah, I really love, highly recommend. Also, it smells really good. Anyway, so back to this. So that's the only other Morphe product I've ever bought. I, I don't know, I kind of was like shunning Morphe. Um, you know, like they're a little bit problematic, like we all know that, but I thought I would try. I'm saying we all know that, like you guys really do all know that. Morphe is a little bit of a problematic company. Um, and if you watch makeup YouTube, then you know that. But if you don't watch makeup YouTube, then why the hell would you know that? You wouldn't. Um, My dog's getting up like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. 
Mm, let's hope I don't need to return this. All right, so is there different shades? Oh, maybe this is the shade here, Originator. Yeah. My dog's here. Um, okay, so he can stay. Oh my God, I'm excited to open this. It's massive. Like this thing, this is my, like, look at my hand to the back of this thing. Ooh, oh shoot. And I just dug the friggin' plastic. Oh my gosh. That is massive. Really like that. And, hmm. That looks pretty dark. But again, I can never tell. I can never tell. I'm just gonna rub my finger. Ooh, it feels really nice. Oh, actually that's coming off a really, really nice color. <laughs> Don't mind my dog's butt. Oh, okay, okay. This, like, the my I have my ring light on and my light for my window. It's just not really. Jeff, what are you doing? Lay down. Lay down. Yeah, you can kind of see. But yeah, like, it looks orange. But in real life, it does not look orange. And I think it's going to um, blend really nice. So we'll see again to be continued. Okay, the next thing I bought, if you watch my Friday videos, you'll know I love this mascara. It does not hurt my eyes. The Tarte Big Ego Mascara in black. How the heck? So yeah, I threw away my other one. I know that you're only supposed to, oops. You're only supposed to keep mascara for for like three months, but I'm bad for keeping it longer. I'm not gonna lie. All right, here is our big ego. I love this stuff. It, like, I love that wand. If you can see it. It's just a good wand. I was, it smells like paint. <laughs> it's just a really good mascara. I like, I recommend it. Just like a basic mascara, nothing too crazy, you know, like nothing makes you look more alive and more like you've slept than a good mascara. And that's just what this does. It's nothing nuts, but it makes you look awake and less, less of a zombie, you know, like hashtag mom life. Next thing I got two more Morphe products. So I got this 8F Fair Play Comple Complexion Pro Palette. Eight shades for your complexion obsession. Take your looks to the next level with this palette. So a matte bright, matte brightener, matte contour, two bronzers, two blushes, and two totally lit highlighters. Oh, so a creamy powder and a silk slip topper. So two different highlighters. Each shade is perfect for your fair to light skin tone. So yeah, like they had different ones for different, like different palettes for different skin tones. So it's so exciting to open a new palette. I haven't gotten a new palette since I got the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. Like, when did that come out? Like, three years ago, probably? Or blah, blah, blah. We'll save that for my son. Okay, so here. Just the typical Morphe. Let's open it. Oh my God, get it open. Okay, this is like really pretty. Try to hide. Oh God. All right, okay. I'm not, not doing the best showing, but it also won't come open any more than this. What are these? I guess a powder, two blushes, this one highlighter. Let's 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 swatch the the blushes and the highlighters. Okay, so there's this like corally. I really like this corally. Oh. Okay. This is it. Here, corally one and then we got like a pink like a pink blush there's a pink blush there let's see what these highlighters oh my gosh this one is like oh my oh wow that feels really soft I really oh wow oh 
the heck? And then when I, but then when I put it on my hand, it's like disappearing. Can you see it? No, it's like disappearing. Huh. Hmm. It feels really soft though in the pan. These feel so nice and soft. Okay. Yeah, those feel really nice and soft. I'm excited to to play more with that. That's yeah, I really like that. I like the contour shade. It looks really um So like this one here is a really soft one. That wasn't really showing up. This one was sort of showing up. That contour shade. Sorry, I hate that this won't open any further. It's really irritating. That contour shade is really orange. Normally I would go for something that's like basically gray, like looks gray in the pan. So I don't know, we'll see about that. That's really orange looking. All right, so our last thing is the Babe in Paradise Morphe X Bretman Rock. There he is on the back. Um, okay, so it's a highlighter palette. I'm, just, I'm like, I don't even remember what I ordered. The last highlighting palette I bought, I probably bought that in like 2016 when there was that big, you know, the big YouTube makeup boom and everyone was buying everything. It's an Anastasia um, glow kit. So I'm sure, you know, a lot of y'all have that. It's probably expired. So that's the last time I bought a glow kit or the last time I bought highlighter. So I think I'm due. Oh, oh, ooh, it came with a brush. I didn't know, nice. Morphe Expert Mint, awesome. I have, I have never tried a Morphe brush. This is like, where's the opening? Oh, it's like a big fan um, highlighter brush. Okay, kind of ruined the bristles. Trying to get those stupid thing off. Oh, it's pretty soft. Yeah, it's just like a big, big, like, you know, people use these for highlighting. I prefer like a small, like I'll show you mine. This is what I use for highlight. Just like a tiny little, this is a Sephora Pro brush, this little guy. But, you know, she's always welcome here. Join the other brushes. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Mahalo for supporting your fave babe in paradise. Yeah, I am excited. Hopefully you guys can see. Those are pretty. That white is, oh, it has like a pink shift. Vacation, I love that. Yeah, I really like like all of these shades. That obviously was why I ordered it. All of these shades like will get used by me. Even the dark, like I like putting like a really dark like on my collarbone or like on my shoulders in the summer. I'm like so freckly, so it looks like tan already. So I can just like put the highlight over top. I am excited to try this pink one. Yeah, those are so pretty. I can't wait. Let's, we'll swatch, let's swatch a couple. Okay, so we're gonna swatch Baby Girl. That's this one here. It's like a white, ooh, it has like such, can you see the pink shift? Oh, I need to stop swatching another one at the same hand. Oh, okay. This one isn't gonna get justice, I don't think, on camera. But see, you can see like the pink shift. Sort of there. Now let's swatch Chiho. That's that pink in the bottom middle. Oh. Okay. This one's like pretty dark. It is, it's sort of like an orangey copper shift to pink. Actually, I like that. Yeah, we'll just watch those two and then come back on Friday and I'll probably, you know, I'll put the rest on my face. I'm like covered in highlight. Should have brought, brought some baby wipes over, but hey. 
Okay guys, so that is everything from my, my little Sephora haul. I hope you enjoyed this um, different kind of random video. It was nice just to kind of, you know, just show off what I got and just chit chat with you guys a little bit. Touching on as if this was a Mental Health Monday, sometimes mental health means having to take a break and I just needed to take a break from talking about mental health and because so much of my life revolves around around mental health and my mental well-being and sometimes I'm just like done talking about it. I'm just sick talking about it and or sick of talking about it, sick of, sick of thinking about it, sick of journaling about it and you know I just want to like look at makeup and talk to you guys about makeup and like play around and thank you guys so much for watching if you like my video please like and subscribe check out my other videos i am normally here every monday for mental health monday and on fridays for motherhood mental health and makeup so if either of those things are interesting to you then please subscribe thank you once again so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye